Honda revealed the second-generation 2017 Ridgeline at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show, marking the return of the unibody mid-sized truck. Compared to its predecessor, the 2017 Honda Ridgeline is more conventional and less polarizing, but it features plenty of neat features, such as the dual-action tailgate and an audio system in its bed. Will this new Ridgeline succeed and charm buyers with its nifty features? We haven't driven the 2017 Ridgeline yet, but we can compare its styling to its predecessor. From the side is where the biggest difference lies, because the new truck no longer has those flying buttresses that made the first generation Ridgeline stand out. Instead, the 2017 model looks more like a traditional truck, featuring a more upright greenhouse that gives it a more conservative side profile. Looking at the rear end, the new model continues with a more conservative design that could probably belong to any other mid-size truck if you took off the Honda badges. The outgoing Ridgeline is no different, but one key difference is that its tailgate is lower than the sidewalls of the bed. Up front is where the differences between the two generations are most evident. The 2017 Ridgeline features a rounded front fascia that has a large chrome strip and headlights that are the same shape as those on the Pilot 3 row crossover. Where it differs from the Pilot is in the lower front fascia, where the Ridgeline has more black body cladding with fog lights integrated in it. In comparison, the outgoing Ridgeline has a boxier, more truck-like front fascia with less body cladding and headlights that are more angular. Inside. The 2017 Ridgeline has a dash layout that's similar to the Honda Pilot, featuring a large center touch screen for the infotainment system and the dreaded capacitive volume controls. The center console is also right out of the Pilot along with the center stack buttons, gear selector, steering wheel, and gauges. Unlike the new 2017 Ridgeline, the older model features an interior that's similar to other trucks with a gear selector on the steering column and a center console that doesn't continue on the bottom of the center stack. Infotainment controls are more conventional and less touchy, since there's a simple audio system rather than a full-fledged infotainment system like on the new truck. The seats on the 2017 Ridgeline, on the other hand, look better bolstered compared to the outgoing model. With the mid-sized truck segment growing quickly thanks to new entries from Toyota and General Motors, does Honda's new Ridgeline have what it takes to win over potential buyers? Tell us in the comments below. Last week's installment of Refreshing or Revolting featured the 2017 Lincoln Continental, and the comments were mostly mixed. The new Continental is a beautiful car, inside and out. It's refreshing and encouraging to see an automaker create a real luxury car instead of trying to have the best track numbers. I'm excited about Lincoln's prospects, said Ted C. Neutral. Yes, T is good Lincoln seems to be getting a little more serious, but it just doesn't have that emotional impact, said Stu. Not to say it's revolting as it's very refreshing to see a new car on the road, but is it too much to say that I wish it was better? It lacks character, said Stephen Doe. It's not revolting, just really uninspiring and boring, said it's just baby.